Android in and of itself is actually a distro of Linux, but with a slightly modified kernel. Google has said they are working on getting full Linux apps running within the Android operating system, but there's actually a lot of work that needs to be done before that can happen seamlessly. For now, everyone with the latest version of Android 15 or later all have the ability to install and set up a full-blown terminal on their smartphone or tablet without having to download any third-party apps. This is actually set up as Debian OS that's running within Android. And today I can show you how to set this up on your device. Before we can begin the process of installing a Linux terminal on Android, we first need to enable developer mode. This is done by tapping on the build number entry from within the settings application in the about phone section around seven to 10 times. Once that's done, open up the settings app, dive into the system menu, and then scroll down and you should see this newly revealed developer options menu. If anyone needs any extra help getting this enabled, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a dedicated guide linked there. I can also put that link in the pinned comment here as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. So once you're in this secret menu, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit until you find the debugging section. Then you want to scroll down a little bit more and you will find a feature labeled Linux development environment. If you don't see this menu, then I'm guessing you don't have the latest version of Android 15 installed. So let's go ahead and tap on that and you'll be taken to this menu here where you'll see the feature is disabled by default. So let's tap on this toggle here and you may think that nothing has happened, but if we go into our app drawer and scroll down, you will now see a newly installed terminal application. So let's go ahead and tap on that to launch it. And now it's asking us to install Linux terminal. And to do that, it needs to download a file. So we're going to tap on the blue install button at the bottom. And then you're going to wait a few minutes for this Debian OS to be downloaded and then installed on your device. Sadly, there's no progress meter here, so you can't see how much of the file has been downloaded or how much is needed to be installed. So you're just going to want to wait and it will actually depend on how fast your internet connection is. Once that's done, you're going to see a preparing terminal screen appear here. And then after a short while later, you're going to see this screen transition over into a full terminal window from Debian Linux directly on your Android smartphone or tablet. This is not a third party app. This is now built directly into Android 15 and higher. We can tap on the screen here. We can even run a apt get. Update to make sure that it has a internet connection and everything. Just remember to put a sudo argument before that command and it should download all of those headers just fine. We can even come in here and do a sudo apt get install htop, which is a popular Linux application. We confirm that we do want to install it. After it has been downloaded, it'll be installed. And then we can actually just run htop directly on our Android device.
it's finally happened. Android now has a built-in terminal that can be used without installing any third-party applications. I encourage you all to give it a spin and see what kind of interesting things that you can do with your Android device now. I have read that Google is working on hardware acceleration, which then allows you to run graphical Linux applications just as you would expect. I've even seen someone get a version of Doom installed and running through the terminal. Be sure to check out Chocolate Doom if you're interested in this. Just remember, this is in its early stages of development. Even the toggle within the Developer Options menu specifically says the feature is experimental. So there are a number of things that are expected to not work properly, and we will probably end up seeing a couple bugs when messing with it. Although, considering we have a settings page up here, which gives us options for resizing the disk partition for this install of Linux, controlling the ports on this operating system, and a way to recover our initial partition. Let me know if you had any issues following this guide or about Android and the Linux terminal in general down in the comment section below. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel as we're getting really, really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone.